I am Luke Adam Hawker. Uh, I'm an artist and I'm based in London, um, but I travel a lot. That's the main reason I'm an artist. I guess rather when did I start drawing, it's like I just didn't stop. You know, I was always encouraged just to keep going. And I think you, you get to a point where you realise you love it. I knew I wanted to draw for a living. So I pursued a career in design. I became an interior designer um, and I was sketching every day. Alongside that, I'd always be drawing outside of work, just observation, and that would be a form of meditation for me and it always has been somewhere to escape to. Three and a half years ago, I left my nine to five um, as an interior designer and I've just, the best thing I've ever done. Most of my work now, it's observation based um, and that's that kind of going back to that meditative state of drawing. That's what kind of drew me there in the first place, but I only ever draw on location, I never work for photographs. Uh, for me, that's really important just to kind of capture that sense of place. I don't really concentrate on what it's going to look like when it's finished. It's all about being in the moment, really, and, and drawing helps me do that. My goal as an artist is <laughs> not clear at the moment. For me, it's not my goal as an artist, but it's the, uh, the way I want to live my life. I want to be able to draw every day. I think the biggest challenge is for most artists, and me especially, is making a living, making it viable, making it commercially viable, but not letting that lead your creative decisions. Creative debuts um, have really been there from the start, and what's great is they're very kind of, they respect your artistic direction. They're, they're very approachable, you can talk to them, you can discuss ideas. I think just having people support your work, even from like that side of things, which they are, you know, it's a, it's a platform for artists. So to have it coming so strongly from the platform gives you confidence. And then literally they've helped me through commissions, so down to paying my rent. I mean, you could go to that basic. <laughs> I've been a full-time artist for four years now. That's not a long time. So I think it's really important as an artist to hone your skills and listen. And that's really what my observational drawings do. My advice for kind of aspiring artists, young and old, I mean, is that you have to ask why you want to be an artist. Find what you love. And the more you do it, the more you kind of, you become a master of it. 